Good morning, everyone. We'll be starting in a few minutes. So just enjoy the music while we wait. Bless you. Thank you, Jim Scott. Good to have you back with me. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I feel so much better. Hello, everyone. This is Pastor Joyner and Lady Joyner here at the New Covenant Church of God in Christ. We are here and we thank you for joining us on today for our Sunday morning manna. Truly, we are glad to be in the land of the living. And you know what I always say, there's no speech nor language that can adequately describe how blessed we are. Yes. Are you blessed, Sister Joe? I am very blessed, truly blessed. Yeah, I'm blessed to have you here, too. I'm blessed to have you back, sir. Yes, I am back, uh, right in here in the home. Thank God for you. God bless you, Sister Lucinda. Oh, we see you this day, this morning, and Sister Paige. Others are coming on, and we're going to give you a chance to actually get on. While, while we are waiting, I just want to say, that uh, you have been so supportive to us in the last, what, four, five, yeah. six months? I mean, it's been a while, isn't Since it? Since March. Since March, yes. You've been so very supportive. And I just want to give that shout out to New Covenant members that are really there for us at this time. And so um, I just want to say thank you to yes. them. Also, thank you to what our listening audience, our virtual, our virtual yes, listening our audience, virtual supporters. for uh, your thumbs up. And I'm going to ask that you share and like. Somebody said, I talked to a preacher friend share, about like, it. Like and invite. Yeah. <laughs> share, like, and invite, and invite uh, people to hear because I really do believe that what I'm saying is going to be fruitful to people all over this land. So, at this time, we're just going to uh, go in in a word of prayer to uh, 
start off, you know, we always got to invite him in. So if you would just bow your head with me. Father, we thank you for all that you are doing for us, all that you have done Jesus. for us. There is no one like you. Yes, God, we dare not do anything this morning without inviting you to be part of what we are saying and what we are saying about what we are teaching about. God, I pray this morning that you move wherever you need to move in the home of your people, in the cars of yes. your people. Even if they are just walking and listening, God, I pray that you will touch their heart, prepare their heart, prepare their minds for what you need and want to say to us on today. Lord, let your anointing be here. It is your anointing that breaks the yoke. Your word, you say you would let go out, go, that it will accomplish that which it was meant to come, to yes. accomplish. And so we thank you right now. By faith, yes. we believe you yes. and we receive you. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. And amen. And they say, let the church say amen. Yes. So, you know, we're saying amen. amen. All right, so John, are you ready? Yes, yes. Are you ready to read those scriptures? I'm going to decrease as you come. Good morning, virtual congregation, virtual audience, New Covenant, family, friends, everybody. Good morning. Hopefully you had a blessed weekend and that God has kept you and has kept your family members. I am so happy to have my husband back. I missed him. I am glad that God took care of him. Amen. And having to get on a flight, I'm not that brave to get on a flight. I think I won't be that brave for a long time, no matter what the distance. So I just thank God for his safe travels. Um, and I pray safe travels for my son as well. He is on the road or off the road or been on the road. Amen. So we will go straight to our scriptures. They have been posted by our virtual tech person. Amen. Sister Lucinda Jonah. She is my sister-in-law. She is married to my husband's brother. So she has been helping us out quite a bit for the last seven, eight months while we had to go virtual. So we thank God for her and all that she do. And sometimes I have to uh, hit Sister Lothina Jones as a backup. So thank God for them being there. And today our scriptures has been posted. We are coming from St. Matthew, our first scripture, 24, 12 through 14. And it reads, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. We'll move on to 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Ecclesiastes 9.11 I return and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. And finally, Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. May God add blessings to the readers, and especially the doers of his word. Amen. I wonder where I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> Sister Joan had me to social distance when I first got back. And uh, I think I got one more day. I don't know whether this is social distancing or not. No. <laughs> but <laughs> I guess she's going to let me come back. I put the word there before I came up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She told me when you get back, you can't come in hugging and all that kind of stuff. You're gonna have to 
She even tried to put me downstairs. <laughs> I'm telling on you. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I just thank God for it. Thank you for the scriptures. Amen. And I, Amen. I'll just come up. I, I, um, you have to do what you say and preach to others. I am a believer of that. Thank yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, you did have me isolated for <laughs> yes, a little I bit did. there. But that's all right. Uh, that's what we do uh, when we preach it to others, I suppose. We have to do it as well. Um. Before I actually start the sermon, I, I want I want to just right now uh, come in with some with some more music, and uh, we're gonna have a little time of praise, Sister yeah. Joy. Is that okay? It's okay. Yeah, it's a little different, but we're gonna come in with a, just a little bit of praise. Enjoy this. Here's a great music. so glad that he knows you that's right as that's well right. we are children of the mm -hmm. king man what the king of kings yes and lord, and lord of lords that's, it, that's, it. that's what we are i am so happy especially to be with my better half i call yes, her yes yes i say i think god loves you more than he loves me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know sometimes you know uh, we feel that way, but uh, yes. she is a I love you. wonderful, wonderful supporter, a wonderful, wonderful wife. And I know sometimes people say, why do you talk about your wife so much? Because that's a part of me. That's right, that's right. That is what 
calls me to be yes. who I am and where I am, besides yes. from God. We That's know right. that right. God is the totality of us. Yes, he But is. he also gives us people around us to support us, to love us, uh, and to many times give us wise counsel. And I thank God that she has given me wise counsel mm -hmm. all my life in a godly way, a mm -hmm. godly counsel, and not uh, what she just wants. She always say, I want what God wants for my life. For my life. Yeah. <laughs> and every time I kind of stray a little bit, you know, to the side, because us preachers do that sometimes. We preach stuff, and yeah. every once in a while, yeah. we get ready to go through it. Take a walk. Uh, it, you know, it looks like we want to take a walk or something. Yeah, but, yeah. But she always say, you always preach, blah, 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 blah. And she tells me about myself, and guess what? I listen. He because what did. she's saying is truth, and truth sometimes yes, uh, yes. doesn't, you know, sound so pleasant, but it is truth. And so we shall know the truth, as and the Bible says, the truth shall set, in some mm -hmm. cases it says, mm -hmm. make us free. Mm -hmm. All right. This time we're going to uh, just pray one more time, if you don't uh, mind, we're going to do it. Father, we thank you again yes, for yes. all that you have done in us and through us. Now, God, I pray that your word come forth and that I don't stutter in it, but I give the people exactly what you have given to me at this time. God, I pray that the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart are acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. And amen. amen. Scriptures has been read. Yes. Uh, I played that first song for you because I know what we're going through right now. These are uncertain times. Yes, yes. These are rough times. Yes. For many of these are hard times. Yes. And even for the people of God, many of them are barely holding on. And uh, you say, well, you're a Christian, you, you, you're a believer. What do you mean you're barely holding on? It is so much stuff happening right now. I mean, from the top all the way to the bottom, uh -huh. both in the church and in the secular world. That's right. We, we are in turmoil right now. We don't know truth. Uh, what truth is, you know, we still got people lying, we still got people, yes, yes. you know, deceiving, yes. we still got all of this going on, and at the same time, we got our own personal family issues. That's right. And that's believe right. me, if somebody tell you that they are right, they don't have no family issues, they're lying to you. All of us, at one point or another, have some issues that we have to deal with, even with our family. So these are uncertain times. So I want to give to you for thought. You've already heard the scriptures and I'll probably go through them again. But um, I want you to just remember this one word. Endure. Yes, yes. I want you to just repeat it after me. Endure. Endure. Come on, type it in somebody. Endure. Do and come on. Do. Tell your uh, your partner or tell your children or wherever you are. Tell them to endure. That endure. is the major word I want you to remember all through this message. Endure. Endure. In times like these. Yeah. Yeah. Endure. In uncertain times. Endure. You are to endure. And as we always say, when you get to the end of your rope, tie a knot in it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and hang on. Endure. Yes. Endure. That is my uh, subject of thought for this morning manner. Uh, this, in this includes not just believers at this time I'm talking to, but I'm talking to all people mm -hmm, everywhere, mm -hmm. whoever may be watching, whether you know him as your personal savior, whether you're a backslider, whether you whether you're a saint, I'm talking to all of you, but especially note 
to the believer what God says to us. I gave you Matthews 24, 12 through 14. We're kind of somewhere almost in the middle of Jesus talking to his disciples. They wanted to know from him when in the last days, when is the last days, what is going to happen, how shall we know, what shall be the signs, you know, we're inquiring minds want to know. Yeah. And so they asked him, when is these times, these last days, these times you're talking about coming? And how shall we know that we are there? First of all, I want to uh, define last days. When he talks about the last days, he's talking about the time in between the apostle or the prophetic apostleship until the time in which he comes back. So mm -hmm. he's talking about a period of time in between his actual coming to earth and his setting up his kingdom and he and 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 the end times. Now I'm not talking about the end times. I'm talking about the last days. And we know in Timothy he talks about in the last days perilous times shall come. He yeah. used that term. So Jesus now in Matthew 24 is talking to his disciples and telling them what the signs would be, what the circumstances would be when those last days yes, would come. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, he, he said, and, 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 and because iniquity shall Abound, and that's why I said I'm kind of in the middle of everything because he has already said some things that would occur. But he says in this verse, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. I'm gonna say that again, verse mm. 12. Yeah. He says, and because iniquity shall abound yes, and iniquity yes. is defined in the christian way of being wickedness or immoral in nature or character mm -hmm. because of iniquity because of the wickedness that will be embedded in other words that this is the core that of things that would happen it's not just wickedness is a genre in the yeah. normal sense but when they're talking about wickedness, they're talking about deep, personified uh -huh, uh -huh. wickedness, intent mm -hmm. wickedness, deception mm -hmm. wickedness, iniquity shall abound. And so Jesus is talking here. He said, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many, and when he said the love of many, uh, somebody said, well, what is he, who is he talking to? He's talking about whoever that is, whether it's the love for him with the Christian or with the born again believer, or whether it's the love between a man and a woman, whether it's a love between uh, whatever, even yes, in the world. Yes. He says that their love shall wax cold. Many shall wax cold, both in the church, and as we call it, society or the world, it shall wax cold. And this is what he says. But he that shall, now here go our thought for today, endure until the end, yeah. the same shall be saved. saved. What is he saying to us? He's saying to us that the race is not given mm. to the swift, uh -huh. nor the battle to the strong. Now, I, I understand that that's not the end of that scripture. But over in the New Testament, as we read now, Jesus is talking and he is saying, he that endure, well, how long? To the end. To, until the end. Mm -hmm. He said the same, in other words, those exact, Mm -hmm. People shall mm -hmm. be delivered, shall reap. Now, it didn't say that you would not have any trouble. 
-hmm. He didn't say that. He didn't say that you wouldn't have any tribulations or you wouldn't be at one point uh, down or discouraged or you wouldn't be at one point even persecuted, even lied on. He didn't, he didn't promise us that these things would not happen. That's why he said endure. That's why he asked us to, you know, begin to endure. Let me give you a definition uh, for endure. It means to remain in existence. It means to last. It means to live through or to live on in spite of. Yes, yes. Now, this does not mean that uh, you have to put up with a whole lot of stuff that God didn't ask you to put up with. That's right. That's but it right. does mean that when these trials, when these tribulations, well, when these well. hard times come, don't leave him. Mm -hmm. Don't become apostasy. Don't, you know, yes. don't be doing that kind of stuff. He, yes. he, don't be a hypocrite. You know, don't don't leave uh, the faith just because you're being mistreated mm -hmm. or just because somebody didn't do what you wanted them to do or, or just because you're looking at most of the people around you and it look like they're fake news. Right. Or, or they're, you know, right. they're, they're, they're not yeah. doing yeah. what they preach. Yes. Don't, don't look yes. at all of that and just... Give up on me. Now, he didn't say for you to uh, uh, not talk about it or not to rebuke it or mm -hmm. not to fight against it. Mm -hmm. He just said for us to what? Endure. Sure. In other words, don't lose your cool. Don't lose your cool just because of the circumstances around you. Still be able to hear from God. Still be able to pray, still be able to fast, still be able to have conversation that's civil, be able to do those things mm -hmm. and whatever it takes to do those things, that's what you do. So he's saying to him, to them uh, in that 13th verse, but he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Now look, this is not just to the disciples because Jesus knew that they were going to go through and that many of them were going to be martyred. Yes, he knew yes, that. Yes, so he yes, says, yes. whatever, come your way. Make, mm -hmm. make sure that you stay in the faith. Make sure that you don't deny come on. the faith. Come and, on. and even when his second coming with the Jews, he's saying to them, you know, endure hardness, you know, yes, endure yes, the yes. things that you have to endure in order to get to where you have to go. Mm -hmm. Do that make good sense? Yes, yes. I hope yes. it make God sense. God sense. And so he it says that sense. to his disciples in his teaching to them. And then he says in the uh, uh, 14th verse, he says, and this gospel of the kingdom, it's, 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 it's kind of ironic that he would go from them enduring mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and into this because he's saying when you do that when you continue in the faith yes you know that was once delivered unto mm -hmm. the saints when yes. you continue to do what god has called you to do in spite of remember the definition i gave that's it that's to it. remain in Ex existence yes. You don't have to be remain ex in existence in the same place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but to remain in existence, to last, mm -hmm. which means to, you know, be there when the fire, yes. after the fire quenched, right, after right. the rain is gone. All right, all right. To be able to, I'm going to use the word, survive. Be able to survive, to live through or to live on, for that matter, in spite of what has happened to you. Because some people's parents have died, some people's uh, 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 husbands and wives, children, ha yeah. children have have deceased, uh, even in, especially in the last uh, six months, yes, yes. I believe, or even more, because in other countries it has also happened. That's people right. have lost, not just in the United States, we have over two hundred and seven thousand 
people who have died yes. from COVID-19, not even to say how many people have been in accidents or how many people, I was talking to somebody the other day, someone that was in an accident uh, and lost their loved one. Uh, and there are all other kind of ways, storms and in fires, people have lost their lives. And just in a normal sickness there this year, many have lost their lives, have gone on, even in the church, to be with the Lord. And the rest of them that wasn't, I don't know, you know, I can't say about them, but I'm saying in general that those who were in Christ, I believe, are resting and waiting for the day of his coming for their mm. resurrection. Yes, I believe yes. that without a shadow of a doubt. So Jesus is saying endure. He said, and this gospel of the kingdom, notice he said kingdom. I talked about the kingdom a couple of uh, uh, weeks ago. Shall be preached to all. Somebody say all. all. What's another way to say all? all. In all the world of a witness uh, to be a witness or for a witness unto all, all nations, nations and then shall the end yeah. notice he said and then shall yeah. the end come so he says to them before the end there are going to be some last days that's it uh and we know that uh the writer says in the last days I think it's uh, 2 Timothy 3. It says, in the last, last days, days, perilous times shall come. Men shall be in there. Go that word again that Jesus used earlier. Lovers of themselves mm. more than lovers of God. Prowls, boasters, all kinds of things is going to be happening. You know, you're not even sensitive to other people's uh, sorrows yeah, or yeah. sensitive to other people's troubles, not sensitive yes, yes. to the poor, not sensitive to those who are less fortunate yes. than they are. They will take a life and not even uh, 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 have any conscience about it. In fact, they're, 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 if they find somebody like that, they're going to take them to McDonald's after they done killed so many people. Yeah. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm just using that as an example. Mm -hmm. How can you take somebody to McDonald's after they have killed, murdered, mm -hmm. especially in the church, murdered nine people? All right, now. How would, why would you take them to get something to eat when you take a, 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 another man and put your foot on your mm -hmm. knee, on his neck, yeah, yeah. and hold him down while he's begging for his life. Yeah. How can you do that? Now, you can take that the way you want to take it, but either way you put it, mm -hmm. they're lovers of themselves more, more than yeah. lovers of God. And mm -hmm. then people try to cover up stuff like that. Yeah. And so, you know, they want to do these. These are perilous times we're That's living right. in. That's right. Well, you don't care about whether a person died or not, or whether a person has good health care. You don't care. Yes. All you're caring about is the rich and the famous. Even some people that are rich and are famous have some kind of heart for people that are less fortunate than they are. This is the kind of society in which we are living in right now. Yes, and so yes. what God tells us to do, he tells us to, to endure it. Endure these times, don't give up. Don't go and get a gun and blow your brains out. Don't go get a gun and start shooting everybody else up. Don't go and start arguing and fighting and fussing with your wife and divorcing and all of that kind of stuff. Yes, don't do that. Yes. He says, hold on. You know, uh, it, this is not the end yet. So you, what you do is you you trust in the Lord yes. with all oh, your heart. Lord. You believers know what I'm talking uh -huh. about. You trust in the Lord with oh. all your heart. No matter who hurt you, no matter what they say to you, no matter what's done to you, you yes, yes. trust in the Lord with all oh, your yeah. heart. 
leaning not upon your own understanding, acknowledging him in all your ways. Don't stop acknowledging him. Don't stop waking up in the morning and saying, Lord, I thank you for waking me up this morning, no matter how much trouble you have. You say, Lord, it could have been worse. Do like Job did. You know, Job uh, rent his clothes. In other words, he tore his clothes up. He didn't tear people up. He tore his clothes up. And then he shaved his head, which was a tradition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he bowed down and worshiped. Now listen to what he's saying. His attitude was, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Listen to what he said. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Even though it's not something that I wanted, he says, even though it was something that may even hurt me, because it really wasn't God doing it to him. It was the devil. Even though God permitted it, it was still the devil. The devil wants to kill you. The devil wants to steal from you. The devil wants to destroy you. He wants you to give up and, and, and just get down and say, there is no God. If it was a God, I, uh, this wouldn't have happened to me. If it was a God, that wouldn't have happened to me. But he you got to understand that the Lord was honest with us. He says, in this world, you shall have tribulations. You shall have trials. But then he says to us, it was encouraging. He says, but be of good cheer yeah. for what? I have overcome the world. And since he has overcome the world, you hang on in there. Yeah. You endure. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 you're gonna you're gonna come out as the clock sister said yes, as pure cool. gold. That's why yes. I played that song in the beginning. Yes. You know, you know, you're gonna turn out, you're gonna be tried it's in the fire. fire. But when you when you, when it's all over, you know, <laughs> when it's all over, you're gonna come out yes, as gold. pure gold. Lord help me with this sermon. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's just bless him right. Now, yes, Lord, yes. we just thank, Lord, you. We thank you. We thank you we for thank being you. there yes. for us. Thank you, and Jesus. so Jesus says uh, to them, and I'm going to read it one more time. He says, when you do this, when you endure, mm -hmm. and 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 in the 14th verse, he says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness. You are a witness mm -hmm. for him to unto all nations. all nations. Even though in some uh, sense he's talking to Israel, he it can still in a sense be talking to us as witnesses. He said, you shall be my witnesses, witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and the utmost parts of the earth. People don't understand how you're still standing. They can't understand how you are enduring. They don't understand that it's the power of God. That's it's right. the power That's of it. the Holy That's Ghost in all of the it. trials that you've had and all the tribulations that you went through. They don't, they don't understand how yeah, you can yeah. still be standing that's right after all of that but you know that god mm. was there for you you know that god was the strength of your life you know that the light of god is in your heart and yes, your mind that's yes, why yes. you don't have hatred that's, that's why right. you're that's you're right. not you're not so that you're so bitter that your insides are being torn up because you know that reaping in sowing is God's uh, place. He says, be not deceived, for he is not marked. Mark, Whatever it. a man soweth, that, that shall, shall he also sow. reap. I talked to y'all about reaping and sowing last week and the principles and the character of God and the justice of God. See, we try to take things into our own hands, but all you got to do is step back and see the salvation of the Lord. I told y'all that last week. Justice it's slow, yes. it, 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 but 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 it, it's not speedily, and because of it, the enemy think he's getting away, yes. Yes. and he yes. began to just do all that evil and all that kind of stuff, and think that they're gonna get away with it. But that stuff catches up with you. Yeah, yeah, you like it. One out. way or another, you're not gonna get away. God's yeah. gonna allow. He's gonna say, "Okay, enough yeah. is enough." Yeah. Uh, and he gonna cross his hands, as some people say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He challenge, gonna cross challenge. his hands. He'll he, do it. He'll, he'll do it. He'll cross his arms. He'll cross his hand. 
and you think, and you next thing you know, you don't know what happened. So God is still in control. Uh, you can believe that He's in control of all of this. He's not gonna let things get so far out, out of, of hand. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a if my people thing. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's a possibility yeah. that if we turn, uh -huh, if we uh -huh. repent, That's that He would say. have mercy and forgive us and heal our lands. But we got to do that first. And sometimes God, in the midst of all of the wickedness that's being done, every once in a while, God will take his finger and put it in there just to let you know, I see, I see you, and I'm still in control. I see you, and I am in control. I'm going to say it one more time. I see you, and I am in control. You think you are. You might get bad, but you won't get away. If you make your bed, as the song is saying, in hell, God will be there. If you fly to the ends of the earth, God will be there. No matter where you are, there is a God that will be here. Because the Bible says he's omnipresent. He's everywhere at one time. Yes. 2 Timothy 2 and 3 says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Yes, this is yes. Paul talking one of the people in which he's mentoring, who's Timothy. And he's saying to Timothy, look here, I, we, I know the conditions. I know that there are false prophets. I know that there are people giving you a hard time about preaching about the gospel and the good news of Christ. But, you know, he says to him, don't you, don't you stop preaching. Don't you stop doing what you're doing. And then he tells them also to do the work of an evangelist. Yeah, yeah. You know, don't stop. Mm -hmm. Keep building. Keep doing those things. Again, you don't have to do it in the same place. That's right, that's right. That's the Bible right. says a person told his disciples when they went out to do and to talk about God and talk about the good news and, and Jesus had come and the Messiah had come, he sent out 70. He sent them out two by two. All and he right. said, wherever you go, if they receive you, leave you with that house. He said, but if they do not receive you, he says to them to shake the dust oh, off your, your feet, feet. That's it. and take back your peace mm. <laughs> and go on to the next place. So you have to rightly divide the word of truth. That's when right. I'm talking about enduring, I'm not talking about enduring things that God didn't tell you to endure. That's right. That's I'm talking right. about enduring what God tells you to do, and you got to listen to his voice to hear what he's saying in order to be directed by him. And I'll talk about that a little bit later in, in these scriptures. But he tells Peter, therefore, endure oh, hardness. It ain't easy. Come on, that's right. I'm saying to you today, wherever you are, endure that hard time. Weeping may endure for a night. But what? the Bible says in the morning, some joy going to come. Yeah, yeah. Just wait a while. That's right. Tomorrow this time. In the Old Testament, he told uh, those that were worrying about the battle, yeah, he said, look yeah. at here, don't worry about it, because tomorrow, this, this time, yes. you're going to see me work a miracle. You're going to see me work on your behalf. And he told Moses, stand still and see the salvation of the, the of the Lord. And Moses told the people, stand still mm. and see the salvation or the deliverance of the Lord. You to just say that word with me. Endure. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And so he tells Paul, tells uh Timothy to endure. And he says, as a good soldier, what is a soldier anyway? What is this thing, these soldiers we're talking about? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, this a, a soldier is one who always keeps him or herself ready for orders from headquarters. In other words, in your hardness, in your trial, in whatever the enemy is doing to you or trying to destroy you at, this is what you do. 
you you endure that hardness and while as a good soldier because you know sooner or later God is going to give you something to do. God is going to give you a word. You're going to hear a word from heaven. So he says, endure hardness as a good soldier. Uh, a, a soldier, like I said, always keeps uh, uh, his, 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 his or herself ready for orders from headquarters. Yeah, yeah. Now, the headquarters I'm talking about is not uh, culture headquarters or, right. or Baptist headquarters or or, or Catholic yeah, headquarters, or I'm, 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 Presbyterian. Well, that's part of you. Know, all of that is in, in in the Pentecostal realm. But what I'm saying is, I'm talking about from God, from heaven. Some people might be going in. And hearing, out. hearing, and hearing from the Lord. Some of you going in and out. Yeah, but I'm 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 gonna hang in there. Yeah, y'all hang in there, and I'll hang in there. Yeah. Uh, look at here. He says to us, uh, a good soldier of Jesus Christ, uh, and and we should listen to what he had to say. His de his desire for our life, or our desire for our life, should be like I was talking about earlier. Lord, I want what you want. What you want for that, my life. That, for my life. <laughs> that that is the the readiness that we have while we're going through. Lord, I want what, what you want, want for my life. life. And I'm ready to hear what you have to say to me for what I have to do. So, now, in Ecclesiastes 9 and 11, and, and I want to note that I'm not reading the whole scripture. Yes, I understand that, and I got to and if you could see this, you see a dot, 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 which means continuation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I want to put the emphasis on the first portion. It says, uh, the, the writer says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not given or the race is not to That's the right. swift, nor the strong, the battle to the strong. So in this the writer who is Solomon sees in his wisdom, divine wisdom that only comes from heaven. He sees that the race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Because there are many people that are swift. There are many people that are strong, but they are not actually uh, there to uh, for the kingdom. And so the Lord has to intervene, and just like David and Goliath, David, Goliath was big. He was masterful in what he was doing. But David was a small, rudy yes. fellow. But yet, that which was strong yes, in the yes. physical sense could not overcome that which was spiritual yes, yes. and anointed. I'm going to say that again. That which was strong, uh -huh. was still not able to overcome that which was anointed yeah. and spiritual. Uh -huh. So the race is not given to the swift, Come on. nor the battle to the strong. And then Jesus, over in Matthew, yeah. that I just finished reading it, he says, he that endures to the end, or he that endure unto the end, yes, yes, the yes. same shall be saved. You put those two together, it is the race is not given to uh, the race is not given to the swift, no. nor the battle to the strong. And then you go over what Jesus says, but he that endureth till the end shall be saved. saved. So God is trying to let us know that, you know, we have to hang in there. We That's have it. to endure That's right. hardness as good soldiers. Good soldier. say, I'm, gonna, no I'm not going to serve you no more, Lord, because I'm mad, I'm you. mad with you because you didn't do this or I you didn't. Believe yeah, I can't mean. believe. <laughs> you know, but we have to stay in. And this is what he means when he says endure. He means in the spiritual sense, still do what God tells you to do. Still don't stop preaching the that's gospel. Right, that's right. Still don't stop being a, a good person. Do unto good others soldier. as you yeah, would yeah. you would do unto them. Still 
uh, give people hope. Still, yeah. you know, continue. Yeah, in I other words, this. remember I said the definition was to remain in existence. In other words, you're not dead. To remain in existence, where they say he's still preaching the gospel, she's still preaching the gospel. To remain in existence, to last, to the end, to live through, or to live on in spite of whatever. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. So, now, I'm going to our uh, last scripture. Y'all just hang in here with me. Hang in here with me, you know, you know, when you have the, 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 the urge to, uh, 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 to, to, to do wrong because somebody's done wrong to you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, when you, when, you, you know, win, you, uh -huh. don't do that. Uh, overcome the urge mm -hmm. to stop doing what is right. Mm -hmm. Overcome the urge, uh, to, 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 to not pray anymore. Overcome the edge or the urge uh, to uh, leave the faith. Yes, yes, yes. Stay here. When I say stay here, I ain't talking about a physical place. Again, I, 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 I keep on emphasizing that. I'm talking about staying on track, staying in the will of God, still going forward. Jesus said, even in his difficult times, he said, I must work the work of him that sent me. A while is yet day for the night cometh when no man should work. Because he was really, in some ways, talking to himself to keep going no matter what. And mm -hmm. he went from place to yes, place. Yes. There were some places that received him. Right. There were other places that did not receive him. How do I know that? Because Jesus says, I haven't seen such faith to the centurion. Oh. He, says, he said, I haven't seen. He marveled at it. Mm -hmm. On the on it, two times I know he marveled. Mm -hmm. He marveled at the faith of this so-called heathen. Mm -hmm. You know, to have that kind of faith to believe that he could do uh, what he could mm -hmm. not do with mm -hmm. his own people. Mm -hmm. He said, "I haven't seen such faith, mm -hmm. no, not in all Israel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in all the headquarters where yeah, I come yeah, from. Yeah. Well, you know, the people I come from. I haven't seen this kind of faith." So Jesus. When the Bible says when he, he his own received him not, I'm trying to help y'all with this thing now. When his own received him not, the Bible says that he went to graft in you and me. I'm glad they didn't receive, uh, Lord forgive me. Yes. But, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm so glad that he, he, he turned to us. Allowed you know, us to come And in. allowed us and he grafted yes. us. Into I, I know it was in the plan, but you know <laughs> he grafted us in. Those that did not receive him, those that did receive him, were glad, you know. And so, and so, and so, Hebrews twelve and one, and these are my last scriptures, I believe. Mm -hmm. He says, "Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed." about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Now listen to what the writer says. Let us lay aside every weight that so easily, and sin that so easily beset us. What is he saying? He's saying whatever it takes to make it to the end, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to endure Sometimes we have to take off some stuff, Sister Joanna. Yeah, yeah. It's not a sin. Uh huh. It's but sometimes right. you got to take some of them friends you got. Yeah, yeah. And uh -huh. put them to the side. That's it, lot of TV watching. So that you can mm -hmm. endure. Yeah. See, whatever it takes for you to endure. Yeah, a weight. You know, if it's a weight, then you have to put it aside. Let's, let's if it's it not aside. helping you yeah. make the mark, yeah. you have to stay away from it. Yeah, yeah. If it upsets you to be in its company you need not to be in this company if it if, if, if it if it rubs you the wrong way uh you know yeah, in conversation yes, yes. then stay away from unfruitful yeah conversation that's that is right, biblical right. so, so so you have to lay aside gossip. <laughs> every weight what am i talking about every weight it may not be a sin that's right Maybe it's your house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe it's your car. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's your pride. Maybe it's your movie room. Maybe yeah. it's your movie room. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it could be that That's too. Right. Whatever it is, 
He says, lay it aside for the kingdom's sake. Lay aside every weight and, and sin, sin, which so easily stop you or get you off from getting to where he had you or have you to go. To go. In yeah. other words, remain in existence to last, to live through, or to live on in spite of. Whatever it is, you have to put to the side. That's it. That's it. That's it. If it's your money, put your money mm. to the side. If it's... Uh, Come on now. If This is going to be kind of tough for me to say, but I got to <laughs> say it. If it's your husband or your wife... That's it. That's it. That's I didn't it. say divorce them. That's right. That's right. Don't put them before the Lord. That's <laughs> but, it. But, but put them to the Lord. Put them to the side and say, God, help them. In other words, what they're yeah. doing and what yeah. they're saying... Don't allow it to cause you to stumble. To stumble. Mm -hmm. Are y'all hearing me? So he says to us to lay aside every way that sin that so easily beset us. Let, and let us, and then he says, and let us do something that's, that, that they talk about earlier. Mm -hmm. Run with patience. with patience the race that was set before us. In other words, Endure so you can endure, you're gonna to have to have some patience that's it. Uh, to run the race that's set before you, whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it takes, that's what you do to endure. If that means praying three times a day, go ahead on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't have to pray but once, then you know, pray that once. But if, if that means that staying in your Bible mm -hmm. half the day, that means staying in your Bible. Half the day. If that means taking taking down uh, your pride and ha have to have some humble mm -hmm. pride, then you humble yourself. Therefore, uh, you know, by the mercies of God, you know, humble yourself. Humble. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it again. Humble yourself. And humbling yourself don't mean necessarily bowing down in front of your enemy. Yeah. Yeah. It means submitting yourself yes. to the head to the to the headquarters. Mm -hmm. What headquarters? Uh, God, mm -hmm. submitting yourself to the Holy Spirit, surrendering yourself and saying, I surrender all oh. to you, Lord. And whatever you say, Lord, I will do. do. I want for my life what, what you, you want, want for, my for my life. Again, and I'm almost through uh, with this, but this is what we have to do. Run this race. And that's why it says the race is not given to the swift nor the battle to the strong. And that's why Jesus says to us, uh, but he that endure to the end, the same. the same shall be saved. In other words, he ain't making no mistake. Mm -hmm. He knows who's enduring and who's not. Yes, he do. He knows whether you're going to stay with him or whether you're not. And as long as you stay with God, this is what <coughs> I tell people, stay with God. No matter what condition you find yourself in. That's it, that's it. That's no matter it. what impossibilities you find yourself in, stay with God. Let stay me say this. Him. And if that means calling out wickedness and being persecuted for it, call it. Call it. <laughs> if that means that you're going to miss out on this, that, or the other thing, then so. You'd rather miss out with that, then miss out with God. That's it. So we we should always listen for to the voice of God as soldiers, and whatever God tells us to do, no matter how difficult it is, you must do. In my closing, I'm saying to you, like Paul, you want to be able to say. I fought a good fight. Yes. I finished the course or the race. I have kept the faith. Yes. Those are crucial words. Whenever your end is, your end could be tomorrow, or you could live to get 107, or whatever. You could. But the thing is that you want to be able to say at the end of your life, that dash in between, you want to be able to say, I fought a good fight. I have finished my race or my course 
and I have kept the faith. That's what enduring means. It means that you're going to keep going in spite of. It means that you're not going to slack God because of, but you're going to do what God has called you to do wherever God called you to do it. If it's in Egypt, then go to Egypt. Somebody told me the other day that they were going to Africa and they were going to be there for the rest of their uh, life until they leave this earth because God had given them a mission there. And they were going to build a house over there. It's wherever God has called you to. If he called you to Germany, go to Germany. If he called you to Spain or China, if he's called you to America, if he's called you to this state or that state or another state, you know, you have seasons. Many times we think because God called us into one place, that's the only place he wants us to be. There are seasons. God will keep you and hold you at certain places for a certain time. And then he'll say to you, okay, now it's time for you to move on. And you've got to have the grace and the humility to do uh, what God has said. And you must move on. You must go on. God uses you here. Then God will use you here. Then God, that's what Paul did. Paul didn't stay in one place. Paul moved around. Paul moves here. Then he had some confrontation here. Then he moved to here. Then he had some good success here. Then he yeah. moved to there. Then he had some more confrontation. So confrontation, just because you have confrontation, That's it. don't mean that God is not in your life and God has not called you to ministry. Ministry can be done wherever God sends you. you. That's right. It doesn't have to be a specific uh, uh, denomination. That's it, it doesn't have to be a specific church or specific state. It could be wherever God said, and you won't. What God wants for your life. For your life. Yeah. You want what God wants for your life. For the Holy Ghost. You want what God wants for your, life. for your life. And so you endure. You hang in there. You keep on praying. You keep on fasting. You keep on singing the praises of God. You keep on working in administration. You keep on doing the things that please God. And if you do that, you can say, like Paul said, and I'm saying it a third time, I fought a good fight. I have finished my course or my race. I have kept the faith. That's Let it. that be your testimony in the end. Let that be it. When people see you next week, next month, in this COVID time, yes, yes. endure. Get through it. You can do it. That's right. You can do it. That's what enduring means. It means to get through it. Get through this. We are going to get through this. God is going to work on our behalf. And you got to believe that yes. even though it may not look like it. Rejoice and be glad in the Lord. In the Lord. David said, I will bless the Lord. And at all times, and his praises shall yeah. continually be in my be mouth. In my mouth. Come on, and that's man. what you have to do. You have to bless him. And that's why I'm saying no speech, yes. no language yes, 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 has yes, yes, yes. can adequately describe how blessed I am. I'm going to say what I cannot see until I see it. Ah, ah. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say what, what I, I cannot, cannot see. see. Until, until I, I see, see it. it. And I'm going to say it until I see it. Yeah. Whatever God's will yeah. is for, for my, my life, life, for your life, I want to encourage you to keep on keeping on. Keep on believing and trusting God. Keep on asking him to uh, continue to work in your life. And you won't be disappointed. You will never be disappointed with him because he's a God that don't lie. He's a God that's true. He's a God that will bless your socks off. <laughs> yes. He's a God that we love and he loves us. So uh, endure. Every time you go through something, my wife's going to do this this week. I know she is when I get to fixing stuff and it's complicated. She's going to say, endure. <laughs> she always preaches stuff back to me. 
<laughs> endure. So I'm saying to you, endure. endure. Let's pray. Father God, yes, God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you again for this Hallelujah. time that you've given to us. Lord, you know all things. And you know who needed to hear this on today. Yes, God. So, God, I pray right now. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, I pray. Yes, Come on, Sister Jordan. Come on. Up with me. I pray yes, right yes, now yes. that you will move oh, on yes. many people's behalf. Yes, Jesus. Begin to work in their lives. Yes, God. Give them the strength to accept what you accept. Give them the strength to know that it is not in vain that they are Christian, they are believers. It's not in vain all of the work that they've done in their life. Yes, that you are still there with them. Lord, I can feel your touch right now. I can feel your touch right now, right yes, in that yes, home. Yes, I can yes, feel... Yes, yes your touch right in that car. I can feel your touch right in that park. Wherever they may be, God, I pray again that you will put the joy of your strength, the joy of their salvation yes. in so that they don't give up. Yes, God. That they don't go to the wayside. Yes, God. That they will continue to do your yes, will. God. That they will continue to preach your gospel. Every preacher Yes, that is in you, oh God. I pray that they will continue to preach the word. Whether they're in their sanctuaries or whether they're in their homes or whether they're in some rented building, God, I pray, I pray that God. you will yes, help Lord. them and Echo give Jesus. them the inspiration yes, yes, to Lord. know yes, that Lord. it's not in vain, yes, God. that you are still here. Yes, you Jesus. are much alive. Yes, Jesus. You are still healing. Yes, you are still saving. Yes, God, that person that may not know you as their personal yes, Savior. Jesus. God, I pray that they receive you right yes, now. Jesus. I pray name. that you come into their in life. Lord, that they may be able to make it till the end. Have your own way. Have your way, God. Have, Have your way. way in their life. Yes, God. Have your way. So let them think and let them have in their spirits yes. to want for their Have life way, God. what you want. Yes, Lord. In the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray that they endure. Jesus. I pray that they endure. Yes, Jesus. I pray that they endure. Yes, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Thank God. Amen. As we leave you, I just want to let you know that your future looks better than you do right now. In fact, I can see you in the future. And you're looking so much better than you are right now. Amen. Amen. You ready? You, you ready for the? Yeah. For this end? You better get back on me. <laughs> trying to leave me. I don't care your social distancing. Bless y'all. We love you. Be blessed. Pray for Sister John. <laughs> and we'll pray for you. Amen. Be blessed. Virtual audience. Share and share.